Good morning, guys. This is Paula, and I am here this morning for us to work on the December Daily Rolodex. Now, I am um, kind of put out some things this morning. I'm not going to say I didn't plan because I thought, you know, if I don't, then what are we going to do, you know? So, I figure I'm going to set this one and do it last. Uh, I just thought of a few things we might be able to do um, for day. This is going to be for day eight. And day eight is just about being home. Being home for Christmas or coming home for Christmas or just all the things that make coming home for Christmas what it is. So, we're going to use this uh, iced spruce. I know I said I wasn't going to use ink, but we're just going to use it in this situation because I have this door with a wreath, which made me think of home. And it was so white and, it, well, it's actually kind of a cream color. And I thought, well, we want it to stand out a little bit and not look just like something we cut out of a piece of paper. So, because of that, yes, we are going to um, ink it a little bit, just so it stands out, you know, and can be part of our, our little Rolodex. Okay, I hope you guys are doing good today. It is Tuesday, and... Um, I believe today's the 10th, and so we're going to do uh, this the 8th, 9th, and 10th. So, also we have this little house, and we have this little house. So, things are not going to be in, in proportion of what they would be if, um, look at me, I'm just inking, not even thinking. Okay, sorry. Um they're not going to be in proportion to what they would be. In other words, this is a big door, which is bigger than this house, right? And much bigger than this little house. So what we're going to do, and now that I've inked it, it looks like we're going to have to do all three pieces. Let's just do a real quick. And so I wanted to do a wreath since we did uh, the door with the wreath. And I thought it could kind of stand up a little bit. And... And then we could put the little house in front. Now, do we want this house or do we want this house? That's the question. I kind of like this house, but you can't see it as well. So, I guess we're going to have to go with the small house. But that's all right. So, we're going to put the reef up there. And we're going to put the house here. This one's going to be very simple. And we're going to put our front door right here. Um, and so, how simple is that? That's really simple. And I was looking for something that said Merry Christmas. And I found this with a little bit of pink in the background. And I really am not going necessarily for the pink color but mostly for where it says Merry Christmas, which is actually cutting all the pink off, see? <laughs> Maybe most of it. And I didn't know if we wanted to put it on the front door like that. Oh, I like that, don't you? And go from there. Is that Does that look good to you guys? And I'm gonna go ahead and finish inking it since we did ink everything. Okay, so I have had more fun playing with these and thinking about what I could do next <laughs> to make them different. We're going to do some, let's, let's go ahead and glue this down. We're going to do some embossing on some, not in today's, but maybe in, in um, the next video. Um, and we're going to do, you know, just fun stuff. Let me see where this is going to land before I add any more. 
Now I think this is gonna be perfect. I want the bow up and maybe the reef over a little bit, right? And then we'll put the little house down below. These are little tags. It looks like that I'm working with. Even the little reef was a tag. Aren't they cute though? I got them at Tuesday morning on a clearance a few weeks ago. So I'm gonna put this one right here. And then whenever the day comes that we put them on a dowel, we can just slip right here and um, put it on a dowel. Now, I think I just got glue on the outside of my little house right here. And it's sticking to my finger, so I figured it had to be quite a bit if it was sticking. Okay, now, I didn't get my reef perfectly up and center. See, it's kind of, let's see if it'll go. Nope, it's down. It's down for the count. <laughs> Okay, so I've had this little door forever. I mean, forever. And I thought it was three-dimensional. And then when I opened, I just thought it was a little cute little door. And when I opened it, I realized it had, that it was a tag as well. Isn't that crazy? And so, um, and that it had like 10 or 15 in the pack. I'm crazy. I didn't even realize that it was a... Uh, die cut. Okay, so we're going to put this right here, which I really like the way this looks. It was unexpected. Don't you think it's an unexpected, uh, a unexpected card? I didn't expect it to, to look like this. Oops, and I've got, of course, I've got, um, blue going all over the place, right? It wouldn't be me if it didn't have. Okay, so let me look and I'll see where it's at and then we'll kind of erase it the best we can. And then I'll put some powder back here. How's that? You gotta remember that you're working with Rolodex, little Rolodex holes in the back. And that if you take it over the top or over the side or whatever, it's gonna have, um, <laughs> it's going to have issues. Okay, so I'm reaching over here, getting my little powder. And just put a little bit on there so it won't be, I don't want to smother it in in um, that particular way. But let's do the Merry Christmas across the door. And then we're going to, I'm going to get up and get, grab some uh, letters that are, well, let me see. I have to look and see if I already have some. Let's do like this. I like Merry Christmas kind of slatting. You know, things on my front door. I don't know about you guys, but the things on my front door never, ever are like they should be. Okay, so this doesn't have numbers. I I have out with me, I have red, gold, and silver, but I want to get some pink shiny ones. I have some pink shiny ones over here. If you'll give me just a minute, I'll grab them. And we can use those. I have pink shiny. I have, oh my goodness, so many different color pinks. But I want to do the shiny ones on here. I think it'll look good. I mean, after all, we have done some, um, they're actually, it looks like they're, they're gold. No, they're pink. I'll get it right in a minute. I'll get it right in a minute. They're kind of a pale pink, but I also have a darker pink. I'm thinking we could put it right here, which is day number eight. Let me grab this other one and see which one will look better. I thought that that one would, but I don't think so now that I get closer. It looks like it's not quite dark enough. And here is a darker pink with a little bit of gold on it. Yeah, I think we should go with this darker one. So let's see how we get in this package. It's kind of a chipboard, this one is. And here is the number eight right here in front of us. Let's just do the sides of this since 
we did everything else. We'll take off the back, put a little bit of glue to secure it. Now, where do we want to put this? Do we want to put it here, here, here? I think here, over to the right side. How do you like that? That's unexpected, huh? I did not expect it to turn out and look this good. It's funny how one, two, three, four, five little items can make such a difference. And I'm going to, you're gonna laugh at me. You're gonna laugh at me, let me find what I'm looking for. Okay, don't laugh at me. Come on, promise. I'm gonna do this little door pink, the little knob. There we go. Final touch on this one. Okay, well, I'm gonna set that aside to dry since I got that little portion kind of wet. All right, so let me put the pink uh, letters over to the side. Now, I've been ranting and raving that I want to do a um, Santa one. So I have so many different ways of doing Santa. That's the deal. Uh, and so how do you decide, right? I didn't really bring, I thought I brought some stuff out to do Santa. What was I thinking, right? Where did it go? Let me look. Um, hmm. Oh, I see what I did with it. Hello. <laughs> I am a grandma. I am a grandma. Um, so I just kind of have a box here of all kinds of goodies. And I have more than one Santa. I have this little Santa who is darling. It's like he's reading off his, you know, naughty nice list. And here's this little elf eating breakfast. It's like Santa has his socks on. They're not, they haven't gotten ready yet to go out and hit the road. So, we've got to decide uh, if that's the Santa we want to use. We can add this little sleigh in the background just to kind of, you know, put it up high like that. So we know what they're, they're about to embark, right? They're gonna embark a day full of fun and laughter and happiness for other kids, all the little kids that are gonna get gifts. And then we have this little sign here I just found that says Santa Claus. Do we like that? We need it to say we need it to have a number, too, if I could find a small little 25, you know. I see one that it's gigantic. Oh, what about that? What about that? Let me move this box. Maybe we have discovered something here. Okay, so let's move this to the side. I think I'm I think that I'm liking this. How about you? I'm sorry. I've got um just a second. I had to take a drink. My mouth is so dry that if I don't, then I start um sounding like an old drunk lady slurring her words. <laughs> And I am not that, that's for sure. I'm cutting this little green Santa thing down. Um, you know, it's funny the things we hang on to. I've hung on to that little Santa strip for the one with Santa Claus in the air. I have hung on to that. And I'm kind of reshaping, just kind of making it look real casual, the Santa Claus name. I don't want it to look like perfect, I guess is what I'm saying. 
Um, okay, so I'm thinking, do we want to put Santa here? Put the elf here. Do we want to do like this? They're pretty much the same, aren't they? It really doesn't matter. And then we can kind of go over Santa like that and then put the 25 in the middle. Mm, that's what I say. That's not going to take much, is it? Trying to determine where I need my glue on here. Probably right in the middle and maybe a little bit right there. And we'll see what happens. I like the whole hanging it off the side kind of thing because that's what's going to make it cute in the Rolodex. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this little guy down. You know, I think, I've kind of been thinking, okay, wouldn't it be fun to do like a collage type Rolodex? I know, right? I was, I've been thinking about it what fun it would be, you know, to do that, or if you guys thought it would be fun, and how would we make it happen and not be boring? That's what I got to think about. So I don't like to bore people with, you know, just little things, but I don't know. I'll have to think on it. I think it would be hard. Now, if you did it with, like, mixed media and all of that, I don't know. It might be better but I'm still thinking it would be very hard, very hard to, um, I should not have put anything on the back of his head. For some reason, I thought we could get away with that. Let's go like this. While it's still wet, we'll get it off. And, oh, here's a little bit over here too. So after I finish this video, I'm going to work on my Christmas Traveler's Notebook. It will probably be in a separate video because it makes the video too long. And um, we'll go from there. Okay, so let's see. Where do we want to put the Santa Claus name? Now, mind you, it's really... They're really fixing to head out and do all the uh, the Christmas stuff. Let's see. What way did we decide to do that? Like that or like that? Hmm. Let's do it like this. That's our Santa dude right there, right? Okay. So, now we are going to have a separate number because this is number nine. But this is going to be for... If I can get it off of here, you guys. Oh my goodness, it's like it's stuck for life. Let me see if I can make it look decent again. That was so weird. We'll just pop a we'll just pop it on here. Now I'm thinking for our um number, we'll go down in the right hand corner right here, and for the 25th. We'll go right here in the middle. What do you think about that? Let's hold it a little bit. I don't have any green. I have red and gold and silver. But I think for this one, we should go gold because, um, let me see if I've got the right color in gold or the right number. Mostly because there's a little bit of gold right here, right in here. And I think that would work pretty good. Get these open. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. All right, let's. I'm going to put on some glue back here. I'm going to use some of this uh, glitter glue since we've got this fine tip and this is kind of thin. Yeah. Okay. 
And of course, we all know that it's it's going to want to leak. Now, it's going to be on our little guy because it's pretty big. But that's all right. Okay. I didn't realize it was going to be quite that big for some reason. I mean, I was looking right at it, but I think it's fine. Let me cover up our, put the top back on there because if I don't, we know what that means, right? <laughs> All right, so here is our next little, I'm gonna wipe off that number because I got glue on it and I'm weird that way. Okay, number two for day nine. I'm liking this so far, guys. They're looking great. Now, I'm thinking for the last one, I wanted to do something. Um, get some of this glue off of here. I wanted to do something um, about baby Jesus. So, I'm thinking the angels came and um, spoke with Mary. And the angels also visited baby Jesus. I mean, there was lots of times that that happened. So I thought we would incorporate angels in our, um, on our 10th day for today. And I just have all the, these are all vintage, all three of these. I just had them in my stash. And there's not a whole lot to them, but this is an old storybook out of the very old ideas book. It was an advertisement to get this magazine or buy this book for children. And it says children's stories for, you know, it says Christmas stories for children. And so this, this was just wanting me to subscribe in this old magazine is basically what this was. And I cut it out so it would be perfect for this. And I'm going to put it on this right side because I like the way that looks. And it says the story right there, and it shows baby Jesus right here. It shows the nativity with all the children, and I think that's precious. Now, we have this old ornament here that says angels on it that I found in a garage sale. There was two or three of them in with a mix of little goodies, and I thought, how cute is that? And I just had to have it. And then I have this little angel, but I wanna put these little angels over where you can read the word angel and put this three-dimensional angel, which I don't know where I got him. He may not be vintage, but I know these other two are. Okay, so let's bring this up. I wanna get some of these other angels in there. Okay, right there is perfect. If I can, if I can get it on there just like I want it. Let's see. Yeah, we're sticking. I don't know where the sticking is coming from. Oh, it's coming from right there right here on the back, same place. All right, I think we're good up on the top. Okay, and now we're gonna add this little dimensional angel Can you imagine that day when the angel appeared before Mary? I think, I think um, it had to be a glorious day. Okay, so here is where we're going to put our three-dimensional angel. I love this one. It's gonna be one of my favorite. I am gonna trim around the corner just because I can. And it will look better from the front. 
Okay, so I think we need to go with the, probably with the gold. I do have some yellow. I think these gold are pretty big for a number 10. Let me see if I can find a smaller gold right here in my box. It's not, I'm not far away. Because I think that one just seems kind of large, don't you? Over the years, I have collected all these letters, and it's like, oh my goodness, the letters that I, oh, here's yellow. Let's do yellow. And hope that they have some numbers in them. Oh, they do. Yellow's perfect. So we've got yellowish, it's kind of yellow gold, but that's all right. So we're gonna need the number 10. Here, let's see. There's the number one. And I think we're just gonna put it. Hmm, I wonder if it'll fit up here. Probably not. No, let's just put it down here in this corner. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let me get this back on. I hope you guys are having fun doing this. I've had a lot of fun going in and doing the different little elements like this. I hope you are. Okay, so I know they don't take very long, but what fun has it been? Day 10, day 9, day 8. Now, let me see how much time we have. Let's real quickly look at the others. Now, so far, our little box is not overly impressive. But, let me zoom you in a little bit. Um, but I'm going to pull out what we've got so far. And this is why I was saying earlier that... I may add on to it next year, like title this one 2019. And then next year we add on to it. But look at how cool that is starting to look. And if you look at it like this or like this, you can see that once you get it all done, it's going to look really awesome. So let me take a drink. goodness okay that's the very front which this is the very front day one day two day three day four day five Day six, day seven, day eight, day nine, and day ten. Oh, it's getting there. It's getting there. So we have 10, we have, we have 10 days done. We have 15 more to make. And during that time, this will grow. And then there's no way we're going to fill this in one year. So that tells me this is going to be a project that we do over the next few years. Now, I'm thinking maybe it can be a holiday thing. See, because look at all this. 
I'm gonna move some of these out of here like we don't need all that. Let's see, those are for other holidays right there. These tabs, uh, that one will stay in the back. But anyway, so uh, I'm thinking we can do other holidays if we wanna add to it. So our little box will eventually fill up. Right now it looks kind of trashy because it's got a lot going on. But I think it's going to be super cute when it's all said and done. Don't you? All right, guys. I'm going to get off of here. And I'm, I'm going to lose my tweezers by putting them back there. You know how that goes. I'm going to get off of here and uh, reset and do my video with my Traveler's Notebook. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And... Uh, don't forget to go over to the giveaway video if you haven't yet and uh, leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe if you haven't. Those are the three requirements. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.